Hi, I'm James McCormick. I used to own the big store down on Market Street. It was the biggest store between Portland and Sacramento. So, of course, I'm an accomplished, good-looking gentleman. And so I got a call that you were interested in this area, including Diesel Horse Bridge. I'll tell you, there's a lot to talk about, and I don't have that much time. I'm just going to tell you a few of the things. One is we're standing on the north side of the bridge that used to be a Native American village site that extended from here all the way down to that newfangled sundial bridge. They would come here, catch salmon, collect acorns, socialize, spend the winter months down here. When I first came to this area, 1870s, there was no bridge here. But this was a very important location for getting across the river because there was a ferry. Yep, you could get on that ferry. The Reed family that lived on the property right where we're standing here on the north side of the river would operate the ferry to get across people, horses, wagons, you name it, livestock, to get you on one side to the other side of the river. When you look all the way across the river on the flat there was the diesel horse family. Hey, they really know how to do it. They provided food, supplies, all sorts of things for the town of Old Shasta up the hill. Of course, we're talking about the times before there was a Reading. That's right. All this was going on when there was no town of Reading in this area. Well, the last thing I'm going to talk to you about is the bridge that stands right behind me. There was no bridge here, as I mentioned, when I was living here. But in the teens, and I'm talking about the 19 teens, 100 years ago, the highway department was talking about all of these new roads that were going to be built through the Pacific states. The town of Reading wanted the new highway to go right through downtown on Market Street. They had to. They had to keep their economy going. You had to keep the traffic going right through downtown. But there was a problem. There wasn't a bridge across the river on the north side. Well, City of Reading came up with their own money, their own plans, their own design, and they built this bridge on their own. Then they went to the highway department and said, we got a bridge, we got the road going right through town. Highway department agreed with them. And that's why the old Highway 99 went right through downtown Reading and kept the town going financially for many years. There's a lot more to talk about, but I don't have time. I had to take my wagon and horse just to get down here. I'm so far from my business and I don't remember where I even put my horse. Anyway, I'm glad you're interested in history and I hope to see you again real soon.